Man, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. How did I do my intro? Oh, I got it. Hello, YouTube. This is Trist. No. From the park, Frankie's. Oh, Frankie. What's going on, YouTube? Metal Cup. No. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Taylor. No. Bang, Neves Knives, I'm Jared. My name's not Jared. I got it. Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got Feels good to be back. Hello everyone and welcome back to EDCNC. My name is Samuel. Finally got it right there. I am so glad to be back. Uh, sorry for the hiatus. Had a lot of things going on between the holidays and uh, surprise, I bought a house. So hopefully you'll see some of that on the channel soon and a new setup for the podcast, stuff like that. But there's been a whole lot going on in life. Um, but I just want to say thank you to everybody for sticking around. Thank you guys for the support on the channel. We're almost up to 700 subscribers now, so super excited for that. But that's not what you're here for today. You're here for the title of this video. This is the review of the Vosteed Bellamy. Let's check it out. First things first, before we get into it, I do want to let you know that Vosteed sent me this knife, but I'll do my best not to let that sway me in either direction. This thing really is impressive to me, whether I bought it or they sent it to me. So, with that being said, let's jump into it. So first things first, let's just go over a few specs, do some size comparisons, and then I'll talk about what I love so much about this knife. The blade length is 3.44 inches, so right there at that three and a half inch mark. The handle length is 4.4 inches. And the weight is 2.9 ounces. This thing is relatively light, and you can feel it in hand, and you can feel it in pocket too. It feels very, very good. Has a satin 154 cm blade, a deep carry pocket clip, micarta handles that are very, very textured, and a T8 pivot, T8 body screws, and T6 pocket clip screws. Has the deployment method of a flipper tab, a fuller, and a front flipper. One of the best front flippers I've felt in a long time, if not the best front flipper I've ever felt. We'll get into that in a minute. Let's do some quick size comparisons. First things first, up against the Spyderco Delica. Next, up against the Benchmade Bugout. Here it is up against the Benchmade 940. And the QSP Penguin. Now here it is against other Vosteed models, just for a comparison if you like the brand. Here it is up against the Nightshade LT. And here it is up against the Vosteed Thunderbird. So now that we've got the specs out of the way, I don't guess I missed anything. Let's get into what makes this knife such a great budget knife. Let's talk about what stands out the most to me, and that's the action. The flipper tab, the fuller, no matter how you deploy this thing, it is a joy to deploy. And also you see that close in action too. But the thing that stood out to me the most was that front flipper action there. It is so impressive. I have never felt a front flipper with the detent tuned so perfectly. Vosti did a really good job on this. I was recently uh, picked up the Labrador and it's a very, very large knife, very long, very <laughs> you know, skinny. And so when I was playing with it, I realized that it was a little too long for me to comfortably front flip it and also that the detent was pretty weak. And those, that was the gripe I had about it, and I didn't like it. Well, just a few days after the La the Labrador arrived, uh, I reached out to Vosteed, and they said they had this one for me. So they sent it out, and this solved all the problems that I had with the Labrador. The size, the detent, the traction on the front flipper, which it wasn't as big of a problem on that, but this thing is just, oh man, I've never felt something this comfortable. So, so all that to say this, they absolutely nailed the detent on this thing. And the closing action, riding on those ball bearings, check this out. That's smooth. 
Let's talk about that blade for a second. That blade is more of a clip point with a very, very fine tip on it. You'll see here on the video, that is a splinter getter right there. The edge from the factory is super sharp. They leave you a great little choil back here for sharpening. Not quite a finger choil. You could choke up for really fine tasks, but I wouldn't do it. You know, you're at a high risk of cutting yourself. But that, that grind on that blade is just slice city. I love it. Let's talk a little bit about the micarta handles. Now, you look at these and you think, man, that's pretty rough. And you're right, they are kind of rough. Uh, but surprisingly, they don't really grip your pockets and tear them up on the way in and out. It, it shocked me that it didn't. If you ever had, had and here's an example, a Spyderco Delica, this has the short um, MXG clip on it. And this texture here really grips your pants. It's not like that at all. It actually surprised me, and it's gotten better the more I've carried it. Because, of course, micarta is a hard material, but it's also a material that will wear down, especially on these small peaks here. So it's getting better as I go. And also, when I hold this thing in hand, the micarta creates a little bit of a hot spot. But like I said, the more I use it, the more I carry it, the more that wears down, and the more this just becomes something that just grips into your hand and becomes a part of it. It's amazing how, like, the, the way it works. So if you do decide to pick one up, or if you pick one up to feel it, and you think, oh, that's a little too sharp, give it a chance. That does wear down. The jimping on this knife, the jimping is impeccable, and it should be for that front flipper the way it is, but that front flipper jimping right there, whenever you do deploy the knife, actually flips around to be your jimping on the back of the blade. And it goes a little further than most other knives, and I really appreciate that. That's a complaint I have on a lot of knives, that the jimping doesn't go far enough up the blade. This one does, I really like that. Also, the jimping on the flipper tab and the jimping on the lock bar here are great. Really helps this knife to lock in. Really like it. How's access to the lock bar or liner lock? Access is great. I have no problem with this here. You can really get in there and get about your whole thumb in that hole. But yeah, I really like it. Now, I don't just want to sound like a spokesperson for Vostate. I do have a few problems with that, and we'll go over them in a minute. But really, the problems that I have with it don't stand out enough for me to go, I don't like this knife. The problems that I do have with it, that lanyard hole right there, kind of ugly, even though they did not prioritize it over the pocket clip. So well done on that. It's just aesthetically not that pleasing. Out of the box, like I was referring to, the micarta is a little bit of a hot spot when you drip down on it. This pocket clip, as great as it is, is just a little bit of a hot spot right there. Nothing like a Civivi clip, but still just a little bit. The pocket clip, T6 hardware on pocket clips is one of those things where, yeah, it's okay, but it would be much better if it was T8 because if these things are secured too tightly, either your driver, if you have bad drivers, or your screws are gonna strip out one because that T6 has such a small port for that screwdriver to go into that, you know, it really easily strips out, especially if you're using bad screws. I'm not saying Vostid is, I'm saying in the case of a weaker metal being used, those tend to strip out. So Vostid, I know you guys are watching this. If we could work on getting T8 pocket clip screws, that would be one of those little things that would make a bigger difference than you think. But you know, that's just coming from me. But overall, what are my thoughts on this knife? I'm very impressed. Um, you'll see in my Labrador video that, you know, I don't just want to shield for Vostid. I don't want to sit here and say, oh, everything they do is amazing. No, I have my gripes with some of their models. Just so happens that this one right here and the Nightshade, the two that I've reviewed, I really, really like. You know, I know like it gets in rocky territory whenever a content creator was sent the materials or sent the product from the company who makes it for free and they say, well, you know, whatever, keep it, blah, blah, blah. I know that the waters can get muddy there. But I'll be honest with you, if they sent me this thing and it was an absolute piece of crap, number one, I probably wouldn't have made a review on it. I would have tried to work it out with Vossi and say, hey, look, there's something wrong with this one. Maybe it's a problem. Send it back because I don't want to slander anybody. But in all honesty, I am really impressed with this knife. This will not be leaving my collection. I will be keeping this one around. I really like it, really enjoy it. What can I say? It's, it's one of the best front flippers I've ever felt. And that blade, oh man, just everything about it is great. And it will be sticking around. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful things. Thanks for sticking around. If this video is a little rocky, sorry, trying to get back in the swing of things. And I hope you guys liked that little thing at the beginning. I just wanted to have a little fun with it. But with that being said, thanks for watching.
Have a great day. God bless.